Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. So I'll start by telling, my, uh, telling you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm quite a simple man, easily pleased. I like a good beer, big screen TV. I just put a tip in now and again, and I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> One thing I've always wanted, um, and that's a dog. I mean, who wouldn't, right? Man's best friend, loving, loyal. You're on the street tomorrow, dog's right there, yeah. Nothing like a cat, is it? <laughs> Nothing like a cat. So I approached the wife with this idea that um, we should get a dog. You know, I think it'd be a great addition to the family, security, all of that. She says no, because we have a flat and we don't have a garden, which is fair, you know. Uh, so we compromise. <sighs> Two cats. <laughs> yeah. Two house cats or indoor cats. And the greatest thing about it is um, they're always there. They never leave, ever. Um, yeah, so cats. Yeah, cats, they're, they're great, aren't they? They really are. Um, I, I just, <laughs> two cats don't make a dog, right? No matter what way you look at it, unfortunately. Um, and I should have seen the warning signs. I mean, they sleep most of the day, they're up most of the night. Um, vampires, vampires do that as well, yeah. Um, and why is it when they get to a certain size, we have to put them in cages, you know? Um, so they don't kill us, that's, that's why, in case you're wondering. Yeah, so a dog, you know, will bring you a ball or a stick, you know, oh, come here, you're so good, aren't you? And I, and I, you are good, yes, you are. I fucking love you, I love you too. <laughs> Let me lick your face, oh, go on then, yeah, you're so good, aren't you? Let me fuck your leg, whoa, no, easy, easy, easy. Go get the ball, go get the ball. A cat will bring you its latest murder, yeah? Just, <laughs> have a look. <laughs> That's disgusting, what even is that? <laughs> well, glad you asked. That, yeah. That was a bird, and uh, I've ripped its wings off and it's hopped around for its life. Fucking hilarious, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it uh, bled to death, and uh, now it's yours. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm a cat. I don't really know what you was expecting. Um, thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bosh. Arsehole. Off it goes. <laughs> so we get these cats, right? Bruce and Freddy. Now, Bruce is a ginger tom, completely bog standard. It's boring, right? You couldn't pick him out of a lineup. I mean, if you went missing, you might as well cut your losses. Um, you get phone calls all the time, and you'd probably turn up and be like, yeah, it's Ginger, it meows, it purrs, I guess it's mine, you know? He's that common. Then there's Freddy. Freddy's supposed to be a Russian blue. He's supposed to be lean, smooth, shiny gray coat, beautiful cat, as far as cats go. Let's not get carried away. What we get in reality is this lazy, overweight dust cloud, right? Uh, and Freddy's my main problem. It's very much love-hate within the household. Wife loves them, I fucking hate them. Um, and Freddie's my main issue, I just hate him that bit more. Uh, he thinks he's in charge, he gets Bruce to do things for him, do his dirty work, and he's slowly taking over my life. Um, let me see, he jumps in my seat when I get up, uh, he opens my post, he sleeps with my wife. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you uh, the closest I came to killing these two um, horrible animals. Um, so fresh bedding on the bed, me and some bird, joking, one for the lads. <laughs> me and the wife, me and the wife, right? Fresh bedding, just a telly on, late evening, yeah? Watching a film, nice and relaxed, nice and chilled. Bruce jumps up onto the foot of the bed. It could be Bruce, it could not be, it could be any ginger cat, who knows? <laughs> right, so he jumps up on the corner of the bed, sight on, and immediately we lock eyes. And I'm thinking, it's a bit late for him to be pissing me off. <laughs> is, he to, is he trying to stare me out? Oh, it's on, let's go. And off he goes, and he just drags his backside from one end of the bed to the other. None of us have blinked at this point. He then starts to lick his ass. Oh, I'm out, I'm not looking at you while you're doing that. I'm out, I'm out. So I turn the light on and there is the biggest shit smear I've ever seen, right? From one side of the bed to the other. And he's got the audacity to still be looking at me in the eyes while he cleans himself. I looked at him, you ginger cunt. And can I just say, he's a cunt that happens to be ginger. He's not a, he's not a cunt because he's ginger, all right? Just wanna get that clear. And then Freddy, I look up, there's Freddy, top of the wardrobe, just looking at me, half smile, like, whoops. And I, I made it lose my shit. I said to the wife, I said, I'm telling you, he's out to get me, they want me out, it's a fucking cat spiracy is what it is. No, I won't stop shouting at them. And no, I will not apologise to any of these fucking cats. Never. I'm losing my mind, they're supposed to be good for your mental health, it's driving me fucking mental. I can't take it anymore. Why is it then that Freddy was the only one in the room when I changed the bedding? And why is it when I walk into a room, they stop talking and fuck off? I'm telling you. He's out to get me. The other night I had a dream that they were huge and they ate me alive. And the three of you were laughing and joking together at my funeral. Yeah? I can't take it, honestly. I've had it. So, three years on, still no dog. Still two cats. 
and they're getting bigger and more fucking advanced, let me tell you. And I've tried so many things. I've left the front door open in case they get lost or, or, or run over. <laughs> oh, poor cats. I've put cat food in the oven in case they get burnt alive. Could God forbid. I've even practiced Malibu in the mirror to the wife, you know. Just honestly, love, I don't know what happened. I didn't know that cats were allergic to chocolate. I don't know how a whole bar of Cadbury's dairy milk got cut into 100 pieces and mixed in with their food. It's hard for me as well. Perfect scenario. Colonel Hans Lander, yeah, Christoph walks from Inglorious, knocks the door. Ah, <laughs> yes, thank God. Hello, mate, come on in. Milk, is it? <coughs> you're shot, you're enemies of the state, are you not? <coughs> no, I'm not, actually, you can have them. Adieu. <laughs> thank you very much, thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Rich Langridge. Wasn't he brilliant? Rich is also available for pet sitting, um, if you need it, um, but preferably dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to welcome everyone back on stage that you saw this afternoon. Go wild and crazy.